technology. And now I'm going to get into the HP Latex Ink technology. Again, tailored towards the signage printer, the signage shop owner. And some of the advantages of HP Latex Ink are it's ink is dry right out of the printer, so you can go right to lamination. Uh, the ink itself is naturally very scratch resistant. So you can actually print some jobs and get away with not having to laminate at all. Uh, the uh, lineup includes the 100 series, the 300 series, and the 500 series. There are also two print and cut models, the 315 print and cut and the 335 print and cut, which come bundled with a HP cutter. They have two sizes, the 54 inch and the 64 inch. So getting into a little bit more of the ink technology, Latex ink is not reliant on a coating. Latex ink is able to adhere to everything from adhesive vinyl all the way to textiles and everything in between. You can even print on uncoated medias as well. So it really gives the print shop owner the versatility that allows them to really get into any kind of market they please in the printing industry. So I'm gonna get a little bit more in depth into the 365 here next to me and go over some of the features. All right, so now I'm gonna get into some of the details of the HP 365. I'm gonna start with the ink set over here to my right. It's a six color machine, CMYK, light magenta and light cyan. And then you'll notice that there's an OP. The OP stands for optimizer. And all the optimizer does is keeps the ink in place until it gets to the curing unit. Now I'm gonna move into some of the other details. This particular printer handles three inch cores. So there's a three inch spindle to load the media in and then also for the take up system down below. Now I'm gonna move over to what the, the real exciting part of the unit, which is the touch screen, which has a lot of different options on there and different ways to make your life easier as you print. One of the really nice things about the HP Latex lineup is the touch screen and, and all the different uh, options and helpful tips you can get from it. So I'll start with the substrate library. So HP has gone through and created a bunch of profiles for a, a lot of different medias. So you're actually able to go online and search for different types or brands of materials and download these profiles right off the printer. One of the big differences with HP Latex printers is it actually talks back and forth to the RIP software. So it's not just the uh, RIP software talking to the printer, the printer actually talks back. So when you download a profile on here, it automatically loads up onto your software. Another thing I'd like to cover here too is the, the inks. So you're able to see all the different inks and ink levels and then print heads as well. One of the unique things about the HP Latex printers is you're actually able to user replace the print heads. They're thermal print heads and they are considered a consumable. So it would be something that you will have to replace eventually, but you can do it. It takes about 10 minutes and then you're up and printing again. So on this side, you'll see your ink levels and then your print heads. And it'll actually tell you if you click on each individual print head, how many milliliters is fired from each head. The next thing I'd like to cover is really great because a lot of the smaller sign shops, you might have a lot of turnover and you may have a lot of new employees that you have to train. You can't babysit all day. So HP went and put in this quick solutions app that helps with very, really routine maintenances. Also with test plots and print head alignments and print head uh, testing as far as your, your nozzles. If you're running into image problems, there's all these different image problems. So if you're getting some horizontal banding, which is pretty common to run into, it tells you all the different things you can do to try to alleviate that problem. So this is great for any kind of new employees you have or anyone that needs a quick refresher. There's also the user guide and some setting things on here that you can uh, go through at your leisure, which again is just all helpful tools that you have at your fingertips, literally. All right, so now that we've covered the 365, I'm gonna get into some of the other units that HP has to offer. On the entry level side, you have the 115 and the 315. Both those units are 54 inches, but there is a difference in the ink capacity. The 115 has smaller ink cartridges at 400 milliliters, 
and the 315 has 775 milliliter cartridges. Both units are available in a print and cut model as well, which come bundled with a 54 inch HP cutter. The next unit up is the 335. This unit is a 64 inch model. It also has the 775 mil cartridges, comes standard with the take up system, but the, the touch screen is slightly smaller than what comes on the 365. Then you have the 365, which we covered. This is where you start getting some extra features that HBS offer and really allows you to get into more of the textile printing. So 300 series and the 500 series, you have an ink collector. What this allows you to do is print the porous medias that's gonna collect the ink that sprays through the material as it's printing. So you're not getting it all over your platen and all over the back of your material. This comes standard with, again, the 365, the 560, and the 570. Since textile media is a little difficult to load, since the loading path is up, all the units, the 365, the 560, and the 570 come in a loading accessory, which has some clips with magnets. And this is gonna allow you to feed up the media into the loading path of the, uh, the units. So the 560 is again a 64 inch model. There are some differences. The loading system is completely different than any of the other units. The 560 and the 570 both share this loading, uh, this loading setup. So what, what is different about it is the media actually rotates into the printer. It's really best to see in person or check out a video online, but what it does is it allows you to load the media without a spindle. And it also allows you, when you load the media in, the take up reel comes up and you're able to feed the media through and have a shorter distance to the take up reel so you have less media waste printing roll to roll. The 560 and the 570, again, both come with the ink collector and the media load accessory. The one big difference between the 560 and 570 the 570 has bulk inks, so they're three liter inks that are able to be hot swapped as you print, so you're able to lower your ink cost from 17 cents a milliliter to 12 cents, and you're also able to hot swap those inks as you print, so it gives you the ability to print for longer durations, even overnight, without having to change out ink. So now that we- Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, and if you have any questions about any of the videos that you see here on our YouTube channel, call in to a commercial sales specialist at 800-771-9665. We're here to help.